Welcome to all. This is Logeshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science. Today we will learn about Array in C. If we see the definition of Array, so what is it by Array? It is a collection of similar data items stored at contiguous memory location that is array the arrays are derived in data types such as integer float double also so instead of declaring the individual variables such as uh, number zero comma number one and so on but you declare the array variable it can store as number of zero it means that it can mention that index value okay so yeah specific elements in an array is accessed by an index okay so it can specify the number of zero number of one and so on okay all the arrays consist of as a contiguous memory location okay so the lowest address is considered as first element the highest address is considered as last element Next types of array. So first one, one dimensional array. One dimensional array is a single array. So one dimensional array so or only one dimension or a single row. So syntax for the one dimensional array, you can give the data type array name, array size. Okay. So uh, data type mentioned that types of the array. Okay. So array name as um, any uh, name of the array array size you can specify number of the element in an array okay it must be a positive integer only okay see how to access the element of one dimension array okay so each element is identify the index okay each and every uh, element is identify its index or positions okay the index of first element array is zero okay the last element size is minus one okay the axis of the element one dimensional array so we have to follow this syntax okay first array name after that <coughs> index okay the array name is the name of the array so index is specify the what kind of element you want you have to give okay so in, uh, if our example is here so first one uh, index index means zero one two three four five this is the array index okay so after that elements so the number of zero number of one this of the element okay so you have to use the uh, data types that is a integer so you can give the element as marks that is array name so array size as set okay next we are going to see initializing one dimensional array in c so suppose if you want to initialize your variable to array name so you have to use the syntax data type array name array size and uh, elements so our data types mentioned that is the type of the array so double int float whatever it is so array name specify the name of the array so array size is used to elements of the array okay so elements means you have to give any variance that is the element see the one dimensional array program okay first you have to give the main function after that the array declaration part here so first you can give the data type integer the array name as numbers and array size allotted as 5 okay so when you allotted the size of array so automatically memory location is allotted number of 0 number of 1 number of and number of 4 okay so now you can initialize the value as 10 20 30 40 and 50 okay so now the 10 to assign the number of 0 20 is assigned the number of 1 30 is assigned to number of 2 40 is assigned to number of 3 so 50 is assigned to 4 so you have to print the file statement so you have to use for loop okay so the for loop is so the first initialize the statement statement as i equal to zero after that the condition will check i less than five this condition is two so we can enter the for loop so print the statement as number of five okay so number of five have the number of zero so number of zero as ten okay the process after that move to updation part it means i equal to i plus one okay so i plus one the value as one is so one less than five this condition is two again you can enter the print of the number of five print as number of one as twenty okay this process will continue so i equal to four four less than five so the condition also to so again it enter the print of statement the number of 4 equal to 50 okay so again the increment the i value okay so i value equal to 5 5 less than 5 this condition will be false okay so automatically 
skip out of the for loop the, the program is over okay we can initialize the one dimension arrays later in the program so syntax for array name index equal to value okay so array name is name of the array so index is index of the element we want to assign the value to value so value is the value we want to assign this in the element this is an example for the one dimension array later so first we have to initialize the array variable as int numbers number is the array name and we have to allot the size as 5 ok so number of 0 equal to 10 it means what is the syntax is that first you can give the array name and you can give uh, index after that you can assign the value so number is the array name 0 is the index value after that you can assign the value as 10 ok so we have to uh, assign the value was 10 to uh, 0 index 22 1 index 32 2 index 42 third index 52 fourth index okay so this is the example for the one dimensional array letter so next we are going to see two dimensional array so what is the two dimensional array it can define the array of array is called as the two dimensional array it can organize as a matrix format okay so it can collection it can represent as a collection of rows and collection of columns and two dimensional array create to implement a relational database as look like a data structures okay so it can hold the bulk of data and it can be passed in any number of functions whenever required so what is the declaration of uh, two dimensional array so the first one you have to give data type array name so how many rows you want you have to give the rows after that you can give uh, columns this is example for the two dimensional array int int as a data type two diamond is the array name we have to uh, give the variable size as a row and column the first is mentioned that row other other one is called referred as the column okay so the overall they have the three rows and three columns in the example okay so there is some example figure also here row one and row two row three so the column one column two column three it can take the value as 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 so another second row is that can it can take that 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 third row is can take on from uh, 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 array so in two uh, in one dimensional array we don't need to specify the size of array if the declaration or the initialization or being the simultaneously so this will not work in two dimensional array the two dimensional array can be declared and defined the following way so i int array name so af after that you have to mention the so number of rows and number of column uh, equal to we have to initialize the element okay okay next we will see the two dimensional array uh, first one you have to uh, declare the variable as i equal to 0 j equal to 0 okay so next we have to declare the array variable as a or r after that you can say allot the size 4 and 3 was so equal to you have to initialize the values 1 comma 2 2 3 4 uh, 3 comma 4 comma 5 4 comma 5 comma 6 once you allotted the size in the array variable is automatically some spaces are allotted so the allocations value as 0 comma 0 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 2 comma 0 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 0 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 okay so after that the initial size you have to initialize some values now that values are stored in the particular places okay so example 1 comma 2 comma 3 so first you have to initialize the set 1 comma 2 comma 3 so that is 0 comma 0 equal to you have 1 okay so uh, in the set 2 uh, second value is stored to the 0 comma 1 third values is stored to 0 comma 2 Okay. So this is an example for the initialization of array in two dimensional.